प्रॉब्लम थ्री रिसॉल्व इन टू पार्शल फ्रैक्शन एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू एक्स माइनस सेवन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन इन टू एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वेर सोल्यूशन वन फैक्टर एक्स माइनस वन ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ गिवन फ्रैक्शन इज रिपीटेड लीनियर फैक्टर which is repeated two times and other factor is x plus 1 therefore by taking a for numerator of x plus 1 and two different numerators b and c for x minus 1 and x minus 1 square we can write our first step as let the given fraction x square minus 2x minus 7 upon x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square is equal to a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x minus 1 plus c upon x minus 1 whole square now to remove denominators of each term of this equation multiplying both sides by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square which is lcm of denominators of above equation we get after multiplying by lcm it cancel the denominator and left hand side become x square minus 2x minus 7 is equal to in the right hand side after multiplying by lcm it cancel the denominator x plus 1 of the first term and first term become a into x minus 1 whole square plus similarly cancelling the denominator of second term second term become b into x plus 1 into x minus 1 plus cancelling the denominator of third term third term become c into x plus 1 consider this statement as number 1 now we have to find values of a b and c to find the value of a we have to cancel terms of b and c by taking their common factor x plus 1 0 therefore putting x is equal to minus 1 in equation 1 we get replacing x by minus 1 left hand side become minus 1 square minus 2 into minus 1 minus 7 is equal to in the right hand side first term become a into minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus second term become b into in bracket minus 1 plus 1 into in second bracket minus 1 minus 1 plus third term become c into in bracket minus 1 plus 1 therefore solving the above step we get 8 is equal to a into 4 therefore we get a is equal to 2 now it is easy to find the value of c first by cancelling terms of a and b by making their common bracket x minus 1 0 therefore putting x is equal to 1 in equation 1 we get replacing x by 1 left hand side of equation 1 become 1 square minus 2 into 1 minus 7 is equal to in the right hand side first term become a into 1 minus 1 whole square plus second term become b into 1 plus 1 into 1 minus 1 plus third term become c into 1 plus 1 therefore solving the above step we get minus 8 is equal to c into 2 therefore we get 
c is equal to minus 4. Now, by taking any compatible value of x and substituting values of a and c in equation 1, we can find the value of b. Therefore, putting the values of a, c and x is equal to 0 in equation 1, we get replacing x by 0 in the left hand side of equation 1, we get 0 square minus 2 into 0 minus 7 is equal to in the first term of right hand side replacing a by its value 2 and x by 0 first term become 2 into 0 minus 1 whole square plus in second term b into 0 plus 1 0 minus 1 plus in third term replacing c by minus 4 and x by 0 third term become minus 4 into 0 plus 1. Therefore, solving the above step, we get b is equal to pi. Therefore, the given fraction x square minus 2x minus 7 upon x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square is equal to, in the first term, replacing a by its value 2, first term become 2 upon x plus 1. In second term, replacing b by its value pi, second term become plus pi upon x minus 1. And in third term, replacing c by its value minus 4, third term become minus 4 upon x minus 1 whole square. For better understanding, take a pause here and try to solve this problem again in your notebook without copying.